some life, so we don't. I think I'm clear of the don't, wires. Don't do that. That's what I'm trying to make sure I'm clear of the wires. You're going to throw it. Don't throw it. I don't want him chasing rocks. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Thank you. 
streets today They give me no relief So much heat today it Got me in disbelief Now I can see heat waves rising The ice pavement melts away Silent, tired faces Look down on streets of gray It's too hot I'm out here, I got one of my client's dogs here. This is, what's his name? Othello. Othello, I'm really bad with names, so I can't really pronounce it. But his name is Othello, and he's a German Shepherd. If you don't know what a German Shepherd looks like, that's what a German Shepherd looks like. A long-haired German Shepherd. And uh, he is here to do level one protection. And this is his third day with the bite work. He's been here for about three weeks. The first times we just adjust, I just get to know a dog. I don't just bring a dog here and just throw them into bite work and training so it was my assessment time so we got through that and now here we are the first phases of just his basic kind of grip work just assessing his drive just the early stages all right so he doesn't bark a lot so we're going to change that So what you're just watching is, like, I won't let him get a bite until he makes a noise. Because one of the things that I was told when I got him in the beginning is that he doesn't bark. So, we're going to change that right from the beginning. So he will not bite until he barks. And that's what you're waiting on. That's what you're watching. And right now, it's just a good kick it. He's got a bad grip. Noise up. A little noise. I'll take it easy. Gotta go on them. Alright, so that's a tactic that dog he's 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 good. I am not an equipment holder guy. I teach them that basis in the beginning, so they just, it's the involvement. I do not like equipment holding. It does not translate well to nice, real dogs. So, that's a raptor. 
He's not paying attention to the sleeve anymore, which is exactly what we want. So, whew, this guy can give me a workout though. But it's a process, so you get used to seeing this little face here. You'll see him a lot. He's one of my projects that I'm working on. So you can see him. Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike. All right, so what's happening right here at the end of this, um, I want him to drop the sleeve and I just showed him a little bit of mild civil uh, agitation, which is technically not civil because I have to stick in my hand. I just wanted to see that he would focus on me and take his eyes off the sleeve. Yeah, so he did well. It's good. Good dog. Good dog. For sure. Good boy. There he goes. So that's a fellow right there. One of the German shepherds that were training over here. So in the vlogs, I'm gonna start to open up and show you guys a little more. I've been limiting it a lot. We're 50 vlogs in now. I can let you guys in. So I'm gonna show you a lot of different training techniques and different things that I do throughout the time period. I'm going to leave out a lot of things still because I'm still going to make a DVD and this is still a business. But I definitely want to give you guys some keys to these dogs. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So subscribe, follow along. Major key. Alright, so I was just... I've never flown the drone anywhere else but in my house. So I just decided to bring it down here to this little spot that I know I'm going to let fly it. So I'm going to play these shots. You can watch them. It's just a different perspective. So drone footage. Go. Listen to me now, and I'll let you know About a thing called dreariness, you know It makes you mad, and it makes you sad You feel dreary when you lost the love you had Dreariness Oh yeah, and there was a sketchy old man in the woods, like hiding behind us when we were flying the drone. I don't know what he was doing, but he was a bit creepy. Alright, so, what's up guys? Hope you liked that last video with the drone. That was real fun to shoot. I really like the drone. It's going to be cool. We're going to get some cool stuff. So, we're going to be shooting on this, so I'm going to switch to that now. Bam! And we're back. 70D. Look at that. It's bright. What do you think? I'm bright. I'm changed. Look at me. I look different. My phone's going off. Um, anyways, brand new camera. Just got this. This is a 70D. Um, it's great. It's bright. I like it. Canon. We were shooting on this before. This was the... Uh, what is this? Uh, this is a T5. It's one of the cameras that we take pictures on, but we literally have piles of cameras. When I started the vlogs, I really didn't know like if I was gonna carry it on or kind of what I was gonna do, you know, with it. I just kind of was like, all right, everybody, you know, everybody that I see online, you know, on YouTube is making these vlogs. Maybe I'll just make a vlog, you know, see what it's about. I'm pretty busy. I don't know if I'll be able to kind of carry a camera around. Type thing. But as some time went on, like I, I just, I really, I got into it. You know what I mean? I got into it. That's what happens to me. I'm not like a just, oh, I'm gonna just do it partly. Yeah, I'm gonna go big or go home kind of guy. So, you know, we've just been developing the vlog and, and just, you know, figuring out ways that I like to make it and, and you know, different segments and just how I like it to appear. And I, I, it's been really fun. You know, I mean, it's 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 hard at times. I don't film everything, but certain things are private and then you know, different, you know, different. We have lots of clients. Some client, clients are private. Some dogs. I'm not gonna film train with them. So we don't film everything, but I try to film a lot and just just switch up what you guys are seeing. Um, but in the comments, definitely in this one, comment a lot. Tell me what you want to see. We just happened real quick. The subscribing rate is crazy, so appreciate you guys. And if you haven't already, definitely go down there and subscribe right now. Click that button. Click the thumbs up button too, or click the thumbs down button. I don't really care. I like both of them. Um, I like interaction. So, anyways, we are on vlog number 50. We got here. We made it. It started with this little tiny little purple little camera that I had. Actually, it started with a camera guy that I hired, um, Russ, 
and he we, he was just filming kind of random stuff, you know. We've all we're always filming, so I always have have a camera. So he was filming. We were kind of like, oh, we'll make like a day video, and it was like, oh, it's kind of like a vlog. It's kind of how it started. If you go back all the way to the beginning, um, I could put that link here. You can watch the first kind of vlog. Or maybe I made the first vlog. I don't happened really quickly because they were kind of spotty, and I didn't really. I didn't really like how they were coming out, so I was kind of like, alright, I'm going to just film the vlog myself and see if I can make time to do it. And the way I started doing it, the format that I started doing it in, just started working. It was really easy. Um, you know, I would just kind of upload all the footage and i do the vlogs late at night. Um, and it just, it worked out, you know I mean? It was really, I liked how I kind of could film it and it was just kind of me and you perspective. I think that's what a, a, a vlog is supposed to be. Though I don't really think that these are vlogs as, as much as I just did that whole speech about vlogs. I think they're kind of mini movies. That's kind of what what they are, you know. Because it's not like every second of, of of what I'm doing, you know. It's kind of just periodically pieces and and parts that I feel like showing you, you know. Day day. days are long, and as you can tell, I do all kinds of different things all the time. So, but we got other pieces that we're putting on the channel, which is the what we do for photographs, which has been really cool. He's been making that, so thumbs up for those. Shout out Brandon doing work on that. That's that that's that's been a good feature. I really enjoy it. I like watching it. I like just seeing, you know, footage that somebody else filmed. I didn't film it. Um, you know, I'm sometimes I'm barely aware of what, what he's filming. <laughs> so he catches all kinds of different angles, which is good. It's what it's like when, when we're filming for a TV show, you know, you just forget about the cameras after they've been there for a couple days and you just kinda get into doing your thing. So it's just really cool to kinda have a different different perspective and just, you know, I just get to see the videos and and you know we get to I, I sign off on them and phew, there I mean they're online you know so that's it's been really cool to have that and we're gonna produce some more segments like I said we're trying to get more of the action stuff back for you guys I know people miss the montages and stuff like that but um, you know it's really you know, it's hard to do everything guys it's hard to do everything I understand that I know you think it's like the resources are endless which a lot of the time there are there's a lot of resources but we have to focus we have lots of stuff going on so it's really hard to do everything and film everything and put everything i mean i know this guy has mountains of footage right now that we mountains we are like buried in footage like from you know back so it's i mean it's hard to keep up it's hard to keep up and the reason why it's hard to keep up is because we're always going i mean i'm always going I never know what i'm doing and we can be editing it's like bam all right yo come on man we gotta go bam out the door next thing you know we're six hours away from the house <laughs> we're in an airplane. I mean, it's like it's the way it goes, you know. So it's hard. It's it's a, it's a, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. But I appreciate you guys for being with us, man. Everybody that subscribed, I love all you guys. Everybody that loves us, I love you. Everybody that hates us, I love you too. Click the, click the dislike button. Get in the comments. You know, comment your heart till your heart's content. You know, we're all about that. So, as always, peace, love, respect, everybody. You know why he didn't stick his hands up? Yo, you wanna know why he didn't put his hands up? Well, and, I, and I got my gum sitting on a reserve over there. Look at this guy, yo. Mm -hmm. Look at this fella. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he forgot he forgot that we have a mini fridge full of coke. I don't I don't drink coke. I but these guys literally like make runs to the store to get coke. I was just like, so we recently because we were trying to not drink soda, they were trying to not drink soda, so they would always go to the store and get these right here. So, uh, I cracked. Kind yeah, he it. cracked. That was it. Cracked. We didn't want to buy a case, so we now got a case, and he forgot it was in. He forgot it was in the fridge. He went to the store and bought a coke anyway. So we have a. There's a rack so, full. Well, these guys are coke monsters, actually. So it's yeah, probably I'll take for that one. there's probably not much in there. I'll take. That's why I said I'll take credit for that. That's me right here. I'm the lemonade body armor guy.